Hey, it's just Sam here from Sensational. Today we're going to do a autumnal look. So autumn is upon us. Summer, bye bye. Let the tears go down. Bye, summer. I'll see you next year. But it's exciting because this is a really debatable question for me. What is my favorite time of the year? And I've got to say, autumn comes close, close to first, but it's second for me. And that's because obviously Christmas is my favorite time. But my favorite thing about autumn is Halloween, spooky. You've got all the pumpkins. You get to carve all these different things, and you get to dress up like a crazy person. So today we're doing an autumn look with our polishes called Sunkiss and Orange Fizz. So if you guys want to do like pumpkin details or some sort of nail look, make sure to hashtag Sensation Nails and let us know because we'll feature you in our video and that'll be really interesting. If you enjoy watching this, make sure to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. Kaching! Right. So as you can see, I've done all my prep work, and this is the design we're going for our ring finger. If you need more details or like an in-depth prep work, there will be a video link down in the description bar below. But to start off with, we're going to go in with sun-kissed. By this beautiful burnt orange. So, if we kind of keep it more in this area, nice little blob, and then bring it down. I think these gel colors are so easy to work with purely because they don't set until you cure them. So you can play around with them, the shape, the design, everything like that, and. Redo it as many times as you have to until you've got the perfect shape. So this look, with, instead of covering the whole nail, obviously the intention is to maybe basically do something slightly different. So my main thing is to go from the high point in the middle of the nail and then bring it down nicely so it's covering all the white bit of your nail, basically the ends. And uh, yeah, so that's that's my objective. So everyone to their own design. If you have a different design that you would think that would look really good for autumn, make sure to send us your pictures and we'll feature you. So don't forget to cap your nails, but as well as this polish is quite translucent, I'm gonna build it up until I have my desired shade. And now you wanna go ahead and cure that for the full time. Right, so as you can see, it is still quite translucent. I'm gonna do a second and potentially a third coat. And I will be back in two minutes once I am up to date. So carry on and you guys go ahead and do the exact same. Just a little uh, update. I only had to do two coats of the color, which was really good and it's all cured. So the next step, I'm gonna go in with the Midnight Rendezvous and I'm gonna use one of my tools. I would say to have just a little lint wipe so you can kind of get the excess off if you've got too much. And I'm gonna first start off with going from the tip here. The great thing is, is that if you make a mistake or if you make the branch too big, you can just use this tool once it's clean to move the polish round. and see how easy it is to clean it. So now we're gonna go and do some cute little leaves. And the intention is start out slow and you can always go back and intensify the color. Right, so once you have your desired shape and shade of your tree and your 
little leaves you could call it and moving out the polish where you've got it perfected you can go ahead and cure that for the whole time once that is cured we're going to go in with our beautiful white lily and we're going to add some beautiful little dots with our dotting tool this is my favorite time because it's so easy and it's foolproof yeehaw let's lay through the dirt and the dirt and the dirt The secret in this is to never give up and try. Just a little reminder, make sure that when you are finishing with your tools that you clean them efficiently with a cleansing pad and some cleansing gel or if it is not natural fibres you can do it with acetone but preferably just stick to the gel cleanser. So this is what you're left with and we're going to go ahead and cure that in place for the whole duration. Wow. Right, so once that is done, as you can see my thumb needs a little bit of a catch up. I'm going to go and catch up by doing the same exact things but I'm going to go with the tree branch coming one, one of the ways. So give me two minutes and I'll be with you guys in a jiffy. Once I have now caught up with this thumb and I've already done the clear base on it and cured it, I'm going to go ahead and do the clear top coat just and then cure it for half the time. And now cure that for half the time. Okay, so that is cured now. Let's go ahead with our gel cleanser and our lint-free wipes. And what this does, it gets rid of the tackiness and it seals everything in place so you can carry on your day. And that is the final look, guys. This is our autumn look and I am confirming I'm ready for the leaves to fall and to get in the autumn vibes with the nice cozy jumpers. I really enjoyed doing it. It was a bit tricky doing the tree, so just take it nice and slowly. Practice makes perfect. Obviously the dot work, I'm, I'm a queen at dot work now, so I think I'm very confident that anybody can do this look. You guys should go and try it out. Let me know what is your favorite autumn look and also what is your favorite season and if there is any specific looks that you want to see us do, we will do that. So make sure to tag us, hashtag Sensational, and we will do the look for you guys. Hope to see you next time. See ya!